Hi everybody, I'm Dr. John Duyard and welcome to Lifespa.com where we prove the ancient medical wisdom of Ayurveda with modern science. And today I want to talk about heavy metals, the pollution that's in our air, in our water, in our soil, and therefore the foods that we eat. If you like this video and you're watching it on YouTube, please sign up for our channel or subscribe to our channel. And if you're watching it on my website at lifespa.com, please sign up for our newsletter so you get this information in your inbox on a weekly basis. And also on your way out, check out our Ayurvedic store with all our Ayurvedic herbs and books and knowledge and free videos and all that. So check it out at lifespa.com. So here we go. So air pollution, you know, I get the, new, the research feeds every day from all the studies that are published, and always looking for ancient wisdom, modern science. And I, every single day, there's at least one or two studies on air pollution and the damage of that. There's nothing else that comes close. Matter of fact, a study out of the United Nations Commission, Economic Commission uh, for Europe, showed that the number one health threat in the world is air pollution. They showed that 99% of the population on the planet are actually breathing in polluted air above the legal safe limits set by the World Health Organization. We know that in America in 2019, 70 million tons of toxic chemicals were dumped in our atmosphere in that year, and that filters down onto the organic food that we eat, the water that we drink, which irrigates all the fields and all the food that we eat, and causes real problems with the soil as well. The soil becomes a real problem. There's heavy metals that, that build up in the soils, which are really, really critically important. You know, we think that air pollution only affects your lungs, but we now know that it affects much, much more because the pervasive nature of the air pollution into everything, into the food, to the soil, as we mentioned. It affects heart concerns, brain concerns, kidney issues, immunity issues, metabolic concerns like your cholesterol, uh, fertility issues, cellular metabolism, replication, you know, and even your organic food. So, so we have to know that we are exposed to a world that is just extremely more toxic than ever before. And there's ways that are specific to get those heavy metals, particularly the heavy metals, out of our deep tissues. Now in Ayurveda, there's cleanses that we have. We have Ayurveda, Colorado Ayurveda cleanse. We have our short home cleanse. We have lots of cleanses that you can do, but sometimes you don't wanna do a cleanse, you don't have time, but we need to get in there and get those heavy metals out. So that's what I wanna talk about today, sort of focusing on the soil and the heavy metals that exist in the soil. The heavy metals that come from the air pollution end up in our soil have been linked to killing trees and plants and crops, your food, animals, in a sort of a, a major way. They actually kill the microbes in the soil. And the microbes in the soil, number one, change from season to season. They're specifically attracted to certain foods that grow at different times of the year to not only, you know, to support the, the function of the plant. So we, now we know when you when you pull something out of the ground, a beet or a potato, there's bugs on that that actually support the medicinal or biochemical properties of that plant, which is why it's so important for us to have whole foods that aren't sprayed with pesticides that kill the bugs, or for that matter, taking nothing but herbs that are extracted that are like, you know, 100 times more potent than the whole plant, but they're sterile, and they don't have the other side of the intelligence of the plant. It's like you saying, uh, I'm going to take all the bugs out of my body and, and I'm only going to be me, no bugs. Well, you're not going to even survive a minute without that. You're going to be so vulnerable. So you can't say that the food without the bugs is food anymore. You can't say that the herbs that we use as medicines without the bugs is actually medicine. It's a, it's a drug that's doing the body job for the body in a more potent way, but losing the intelligence that supports the body's intelligence to support, you know, health, healing, and repair on our own. So we don't have to become dependent on the pillar of the powder. It restores function versus doing the job for the body, right? So that's the beauty of it. But we don't get that when we have all these heavy metals, you know, finding their way into our soil, which is just a really, really bad issue. Um, studies show that those heavy metals particularly deserve, you know, disturb the natural function you know, and, and, so, and predispose us to significant accelerated aging and many, many different health concerns. You know, heavy metals are unique because they're normally like bound inside the rock and they stay there. Unless we mine them out, then they get free. 
But once they're out, you can't get rid of them. You can't break the mineral down. They always stay as minerals. So they're there permanently. So if we release them in a, in a, like we do with, with uh, you know, in, industrial pollution and things like that, they're just really, really hard to get rid of. The things we want to watch out for, like chromium and arsenic and mercury, lead, cadmium, and beryllium are the big ones. There's lots of other heavy metals that are sort of actually good for you, but they're issues. The number one causes of them was a handful. There's natural causes like fire and volcanoes. There's agricultural causes like the manure. Uh, organic fertilizers are a really big one. Um, pesticides are another big one. They, you know, they kill the bugs, but they, they leave um, residual heavy metal and toxins and pollutants in our soil. Industrially, we have you know, big issues, the petroleum plants, the, the manufacturer companies, they run off into the water, mining is a big deal, you know, uh, cold burning, electrical plants, and even nuclear plants, um, they definitely have issues in terms of building heavy metals in our soil, which is a really big deal. So there's things that you can do. There are certain herbs that actually are natural um, pullers of some of the heavy metals out of your deep tissues. Um, in, Ayurveda, in Ayurveda at Life Spa, we have something called chelation support, and they are natural herbs that actually pull and help you support the body's natural ability to move some of these heavy metals out of your body. The first one is called shilajit, an Ayurvedic herb. It's been shown to be a powerful uh, antioxidant to support the kind of scavenging of the damage done by some of these environmental pollutants. Uh, it's no, it's a, an exudate of rock. It's the plant matter has been kind of found between rock and squished for millions of years, it's thought, and it sort of oozes out like a tar in the summer months. And that tar is loaded with humic and fulvic acids, which actually are the, the, the carriers of the minerals from the soil into the plant that feed and nurture the plants and as well as us, right? So the, so the studies show that the, that the humic acids were shown to decrease levels of lead and cadmium in animal studies, and in, in human studies, decreased lead and cadmium in workers who worked in an alkaline battery factory, which was kind of cool. Another one is an is a, is a amino acid called EDTA. Studies have been shown that that will detoxify heavy metals out of your gastrointestinal tract where they build up. Now, what's interesting in Ayurveda, when we do all of our Ayurveda cleanses, our Colorado cleanse and our short home cleanses, those cleansers are designed to use ghee through a process called lipophilic mediated detox to pull the impurities out of your tissues and dump them into your intestinal tract and then flush them out. Well, once there, that's where the EDTA works as it kind of cleans out the intestinal tract. It can absorb into the deep tissues, all the research on whether it absorbs and how well it does is is definitely um, still need more research needs to be done there. Garlic is another one that's been shown to decrease lead and uh, mercury and cadmium in animal studies. And it's been shown also to increase the natural detoxification pathways. And of course, Corella, which is a microalgae, is a powerful detoxifier, is loaded with chlorophyll, which is naturally detoxifies the body. It's been shown to decrease mercury, lead, and cadmium in one study um, with mice uh, that were exposed to mercury. One group got the chlorella, one group didn't. The group that got the chlorella showed 66% reduction in lead in their deep tissues, which is really, really important. It also has NAC, uh, um, N-acetylcysteine and alpha lipoic acid, both of them really powerful antioxidants that um, help, the body, help the tissues restore and repair after exposure to heavy metal damage, which caused a lot of free radical damage. So there you have it. Lots of information about heavy metals, the damaging, the impact they have on the soil. They're there. We have to do something about it. Whenever you do any type of chelation herbally, I always recommend you take minerals with it. We have something called essential minerals. Generally, folks take two to four of the chelation support um, after supper and two to four of our essential minerals, which is their albion essential minerals, which are the highest absorption rates. You take two to four of those after breakfast to replenish any of the minerals that might be actually pulled out during the herbal chelation that you're, that you're engaged in. So there you have it. Also, Ayurveda cleanses, the Colorado Ayurveda cleanse and our short home cleanse have also been shown to pull pesticides and preservatives and environmental pollutants out of your deep tissues as well. So there's lots of ways to handle it, but please recognize that um, you know, we are living, unfortunately, in a very toxic world when the, when, when the European Union is telling us that the number one health threat on the planet today is air pollution. 
which filters down into the water and the food we eat. We have to take note. All right, thanks for listening. Please check out this article in great detail with all the science behind it at lifespa.com. Do you like this video? Don't forget to subscribe and share. This recording is brought to you by LifeSpa, where ancient Ayurvedic wisdom meets modern science. Get access to free health video newsletters by Dr. John at LifeSpa.com. These statements have not been evaluated by the FDA. These products are not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease.